Hi students, welcome to Egorikul and Dr. Bhatia Medical Coaching Institute. How are you all? How, did, how is your preparation going on? I hope you are all doing great. As I always tell, give you a hundred percent in this next four months, right? So I've come up with a yes, I'm doing short, short MCQ videos so that you know whenever you get time, you spend some ten minutes on these videos. So this this video is mainly about the Kudio carcinoma and MCQ on the Kudio carcinoma because Kudio carcinoma is little like a neglected topic, but uh, management of Kudio carcinoma can be asked as an MCQ, and I wanted all of you to be perfect with that. So I have come up with this, right? So I have come up with this MCQ so that you all just have a quick recap of Kudio carcinoma, and even before exam, you can have a quick recap of this video. Uh, hardly 10 minutes so that your choreo carcinoma the most important points we'll be discussing. So there are gestational trophoblastic neoplasias and in gestational trophoblastic neoplasia that is malignant potential is with choreo carcinoma invasive mode, placental side trophoblastic tumor and epithelioid trophoblastic tumor. And here I'm going to basically speak about the choreo carcinoma because among these all four most common is choreo carcinoma. Choreo carcinoma can be seen after a complete pregnancy, after abortion, after an ectopic. But choreo carcinoma is most commonly seen after a molar evacuation, after complete mole evacuation. Choreo carcinoma, which develops after a full term pregnancy, has worse prognosis. Has worse prognosis, right? And in the choreo carcinoma, in histopathological examination, the villus pattern will be lost. Whenever there is persistence of vaginal bleeding, there is a rise in the beta HCG in the follow up period. There is also a criteria to how to tell it as a rise. So then we suspect it as a choreocarcinoma, right? Now, here I'm going to mainly speak about the management of choreocarcinoma to an MCQ. A 30 year old woman with one child has underwent, a 30 year old woman with one child has underwent suction and evacuation of complete hydrated poor mold, which was confirmed by histology. Her serum beta HCG levels is 2 lakhs per international units per liter, 8 weeks after evacuation. What is the most appropriate management? Right? So basically, after suction evacuation, normally when you are monitoring the beta HCG, beta HCG should drop down. But here, instead of beta HCG dropping down, by 8 weeks it has gone to 2 lakhs international units per liter. So definitely it suggests that we have gone into a malignancy that is a choreocarcinoma. So only that point is given. Right? Now next followed by Yadavas, commence treatment with combination chemo, commence treatment with intramuscular methotrexate, perform hysterectomy, perform repeat suction and evacuation. So whenever you are suspecting choreocarcinoma, the management of choreocarcinoma is based on WHO prognostic scoring. So WHO scoring, yeah, we have to remember and I didn't make any mnemonic for this WHO scoring. Uh, last minute me, ek bar, like, you know, see it and go, you know, that as a scoring now, if you read now, you tend to forget. It's common, yeah, every one of us will forget. Even if you are, a, how much of a brain will tend to forget. So my advice is, such tables no, should be revised one week before or you know one day, two day before when you don't understand what you do, do no. That time you should be knowing what all tables I have to revise. So this is one table you have to revise just before your exam. Okay. So if age of the patient is less than 40 years, you give a score of 0. Like in our patient, the age was 30 years. So I'm going to give her a score of 0. And if age is more than 40, you're going to give a score of 1. If the antecedent pregnancy is H mole, you give a score of 0. If it is abortion, you give a score of 1. And if it is a term pregnancy, you give a score of 2. Our patient had antecedent pregnancy of molar evacuation. So again a score of again a score of 0. Interval months from the index pregnancy. So our patient was only 8 weeks. After molar evacuation, after 8 weeks, beta HCG rise and presenting to us as choreocarcinoma. So interval months less than 4 hai, so you get a score of 0. 4 to 7 months, you get a score of 1. 
7 to 13 months score of 2 and more than 13 months to get a score of 4. So 4, 4 to 7, 7 to 13 and more than 30. Pre-treatment serum HCG levels. Pre-treatment serum HCG levels. So like in this patient, it has gone up to 2 lakhs. So if the pre-treatment serum HCG is less than 1000, you give a score of 0. Less than 10,000, you give a score of 1. Less than 1 lakh, you give a score of 2. And more than 1 lakh, you give a score of 4. So here the patient was having more than 2 lakhs. So directly it will jump into the score of 4. Right? Largest tumor size, including the uterus, less than 3 centimeters. That was meant, not mentioned in a question. But normally less than 3 centimeters, 0 score. 3 to 5, 1 score. More than 5, 2 score. Type of meds, lung 0. Spleen kidney 1. GI tract 2, liver and brain 4. Number of METs 1 to 4, 1, 5 to 8, 2, more than 8, 4. Previous failed chemotherapy 1 drug 2, more than 2 drugs 4. Now I know it's very difficult and you know it's uh, uh, like basically difficult to answer in the exam. So you know grossly you have to remember that when do we call low risk and when do we call high risk. So be on the whole when you get a score of 6, score of 6 or less is called low, good prognosis and low risk. So low risk your management will be usually single agent chemotherapy. And score of more than 6, that is 7, so 7 and beyond 7, it is high risk and most of the time we have to give them multiple, multi-dose chemo, multi, multiple course chemotherapy, right? So that is the main thing which you have to know. So in all this, at least you have to remember that, so age less than 40, uh, antecedent pregnancy, hydrated form all, interval months from the index pregnancy less than 4, pre-treatment serum HCG less than 1000, tumor size less than 3, site of meds lung, all these are zero scores. Extreme scores are when you have more than 13 months, that is more than 1 year from the interval pregnancy, pre-treatment beta HCG more than 1 lakh, liver and brain, number of meds 8, Previous field chemotherapy of more than two drugs. So, you know, grossly somewhere you land up in the question. Now, in our question, she had only one thing here. They have given only the beta HCG pre-treatment 2 lakhs. Hey na? And 8 weeks from the interval. So, previous age less than 30 is 0. Previous hydratic form all 0. Less than 4 months from the previous uh, pregnancy. So, that's why again 0. So, 1 lakh goes into the extreme. So that is given 2 lakhs. So here the scoring system will go for 4. Scoring system will go for 4. Right? So it is a low risk. So low risk my single agent chemotherapy that is intramuscular methotrexate. But let us see a little further. So stage 1. Okay, you should know the staging now. Stage 1 is the lesion confined to uterus. Stage 2 lesion spreads outside the uterus but still the uh, genital structures itself pelvis that is at next are vagina broad ligament stage 3 is lesion metastasizing to lungs stage stage 4 is brain liver gi tract brain liver and gi tract okay very easy staging actually among all the stagings which you have learned right so stage 1 confined to uterus stage 2 outside the uterus stage 3 lesion metastasizes to the lungs Stage 4, the metastasis to the brain, liver and GI tract. Okay. So, when you have stage 1 and low risk, single agent chemotherapy. Stage 1 and high risk, combination chemotherapy. So, single agent chemotherapy is methotrexate, guys. So, single agent is methotrexate. Combination chemotherapy, we have emaco, metoposide, methotrexate, actinomycin, Cyclophosphamide and oncovine. Oncovine is in Christian. Hysterectomy is family completed. Stage 2 or 3 with low risk. Again, single agent chemo. Stage 2 and 3, high risk combination chemo. Stage 4, combination chemo and hysterectomy or uh, uh, plus metastatic resection of the and radiotherapy. Okay, guys. So, this should be in your brain.
Right? Next, this is the uh, what do you say? Cannonball appearance. It's stage three. Lungs. Stage three lungs. Okay. Stage two vagina. Uh, you they uh, they'll show you present you with paraurethral nodules. Okay. So that's about our question. So now as the score is four, so low risk. Commence the treatment with intramuscular methotrexate. Although I don't know which is in all. So it is low risk. So commence treatment with intramuscular methotrexate. Right? So that's about the cardiocarcinoma question. Um, I'm also posting one more video on the update of warfarin dosage. So normally for valvulopathies or uh, prosthetic valves, we give anticoagulation therapy. So there's an update on that that I'll be posting. Please see that video also. Thank you guys. All the best. Keep studying.